Well, traumatic scenes like those have Indiana teachers worried. They say they're seeing a strong connection between insecurity in a child's world and poor performance in school. Yeah, 24 News 8's Brenda Donnelly uh, may have found a solution to the problem and some school districts who are already uh, trying it out. Brenna. You're exactly right. Yeah, there's a lot of therapy methods out there, but one is called trauma informed care, and it's becoming more and more popular here in central Indiana. In fact, social workers say it's been proven to help kids cope with scary situations that they see or experience firsthand. Think of a traumatic news headline you've seen this year. School shootings, neighborhood violence, opioid overdoses. Now imagine what that looks like through a child's eyes. Where they're going to sleep, what they're going to eat, who's going to take care of them. Um, will someone be being arrested tonight? Those are the kinds of things that, that a five-year-old's brain are tra is trying to process while we're trying to teach them. Teresa Meredith remembers the first time she learned one of her kindergartners was living in a car. He didn't walk like the other kindergartners did. And I was referring him for evaluations for physical therapy and all these other things when at the end of the day it was because he had nowhere to play, he had nowhere to sleep. And so he was curled up with three other brothers and sisters in the back seat of the car. Now she and others in the state want trauma-informed care specialists inside schools across Indiana because to them it's not this child is trouble, but what's troubling this child? And instead of saying misbehavior, we're saying stress behavior because that really gets to the neurobiology of how we all respond to stress and adversity in our lives. Some have already tried out the techniques. Meredith praised Fishers, Brown County, and Vigo County for forming a mental health task force, partnering with hospitals and churches, and then getting those experts into schools. These are community issues at the end of the day. They're not just school issues. They're not just mental health issues. They're not just health system issues. They're not juvenile justice issues, we could go on and on, they're community issues. One caring adult relationship makes all the difference. Now, the Indiana Department of Child Services has also been an advocate of trauma-informed care for years. They've partnered with communities to hold training sessions for social workers, foster parents, teachers, and parents. Those often sell out in days. In the studio, Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.